there are people like me who have had their voice taken away and, uh, and, and we need to speak out for them. Also, what I'm seeing today um, with the, the Trayvon Martins, the Michael Browns, the Sandra Blands, um, we can go all the way back to Amadou Diallo, uh, you know, these things, um, even once you really go back in history and do the research, you will uncover a lot of injustice. Lamont Jones, Carol Stowell, and Mary Barnes are three of 10 speakers who will share their stories of how they spoke out against injustice. The stage at Capitol Blue Cross Theater at Central Penn College is empty now, but next week, these lights will be shining down on the performers who will share how their personal experiences shape their activism. I could just see of me dealing in drugs and how it uh, crushed our communities and um, leaving the um, dilapidated properties and breaking up families. You know, I didn't, that's not how I was raised, so I wanted to change that. Because I, I was raised with some privilege. I know I have white privilege. And although Carol and Mary both say they have what they call white privilege, they will share their stories of being the only white people in a community. For example, when Mary, who was a retired doctor, was staying with a black family at a free clinic in Mississippi in the 60s. We were followed one, home from, one night home from the clinic with the classic truck with the rifle in the back. And that was the only time we felt scared, but we were followed until we got home. Our country has uh, 400 years. It's, it's built on racism. This is no different. You know, Trump's election is just bringing out what has always existed in this country. And uh, I'm ashamed of it. Carol will also share as part of her presentation the time she lived in Jamaica and was the only white girl in the school and how that also shaped her motivation to stand up and speak out. And that's all the theater directors want from this performance, for others to realize there's something everyone can do to right a wrong. There's so many things you can do. And you'll hear that throughout the stories. People picture, you know, picket signs and, and just this big thing that has to be done when really the storytellers share all different in all different ways that we can connect to that, that vision. It doesn't always look the same and it I think the stories really highlight that.